Good morning, everybody. We're here to help guide you towards something that we hope in the end of a few weeks you feel really good about, but we're not your buddies. We're the people responsible for your lives and the experience you're gonna have. That doesn't mean we won't be your friend one day. It's just not today, not this week, not this season, not while you're in high school. Mr. Barnish references this is a lot. Really smart people plan for the long game. You show up today for something in November, it takes a lot of patience, a lot of maturity, and a lot of understanding that we're all here for a reason that we're gonna forget about at least 100 times. When we're hot, we're sweaty, somebody broke up with us. So when you get to that place, freshmen especially, when you get to that place where you're feeling like, oh, I'm not sure what I got into, I promise you, the first show we step into, even the community night in August, the payoff gets to be pretty big and then it's over and it sucks again, right? I mean, that's what happens. Those moments are coming. They're not coming this week probably as much as you'd like them to. There may be one or two, but they come in droves if we, if we persevere and get through the end of the season. But it doesn't happen unless you work today like the payoff is today. Take care of each other, be kind. If you need help, ask for it and have a great camp. Let's go. So I decided to join the band probably the first time my mom took me to a marching band show. The loud sounds, just watching how cool everybody looked, how entertaining. This is everything that I've wanted. When we joined freshman year, I wanted nothing more than a marching band trip. I was like, okay, we'll get good grades in high school and whatever else, but this is what I want. I want a marching band trip, and I want to do it with all my friends, and I want to do it senior year, and I want to do some cool big parade thing, but I didn't think it would actually happen. And so to actually have all of that, just like ticked off the list is amazing. I decided to participate in this particular marching band because I guess as a freshman I was really timid and shy, so I thought that the marching band would be a good way to branch out and like make new friends. It just became such an enjoyable experience that like I just stuck with it and I wanted to give back to the program. So you're gonna end with your left foot again and this next move will also be a right foot step off. It's a wonderful experience to, to learn drill and to keep I'm um, seeing how your show is going to develop every single time you learn a new dot. That's like going to be amazing when I play it with music and when I have visual, I'm doing a new dance pose or yoga or whatever crazy thing that they add in. But I mean, at times it could be kind of like, oh my gosh, why am I here? I'm in the hot sun, um, my water's running out. I kind of just want to be home watching Netflix or something. But I think it's just really fun in general. So. <laughs> So far, it's getting to see the freshmen and how comfortable they already are with each other. Some of them have gone to school for years, but other of them, they literally just met like two weeks ago and you're like, they seem like they're already friends and that makes me happy. Because as a group, we try to mix together all these different schools and in the end, be one big happy family and all friends. I really enjoy seeing all the freshmen blossom into who they are by the end of the season because it's really cool to see everybody come in so nervous and so scared. And then you just see them slowly open up to people more and more that they're here and they get more confident with what they're doing and they start hitting their dots and they start getting excited. That's gonna be the biggest thing for me is being able to know that I helped change these people into who they are, so. I think that the preparations for the Rose Bowl with like all the Sox game and all of the events that we've already performed at, I think it's very good for the incoming freshmen who have never done anything like this before because it gives them a chance to see like what performing in front of an audience is. I'm really excited for the freshmen this year. Stepping on the White Sox field to play the National Anthem for the first time was really, it's really exciting. It was like kind of life changing because I was like, wow, I've been a White Sox fan my whole life. This is really cool. So just being on like a big jumbotron and stuff, that was really cool.
It's just really exciting to see how far we've come in the first few weeks of practice and how good we're going to be able to become by the Rose Parade. Yeah, I really enjoy seeing all the freshmen because they've gone from being really scared and nervous to really coming out of their shells and march really well together. So I'm really excited to see this progress. It's been really great. I've only been part of the band for about a week and it's been hard practicing for everything, but it's going to be a great outcome and I'm excited. a lot of cool things so far. I hope I take away that I've made some of my best friends in, from this group. So I'm gonna take away the people, not necessarily the events. I'm still in complete and utter shock. I would have never thought in a million years I would have gotten such an opportunity to perform in something so great as the Rose Bowl. Just to think of a little kid watching us march down um, those five miles and just saying, oh wow, I would love to join marching band because they look so cool. Oh, I'd love to be in the Rose Bowl because that's such an awesome opportunity to inspire other people, to um, make our families proud, to represent the LWMB in a good light. And that's something amazing. That's something I really look forward to.